What's going on YouTube? It's Trent here with Offroad Odyssey. Pardon the congested sound. Allergy season is in full effect here. Uh, so I have been sneezing like crazy. So anyways, I come from the back of my truck here to give you guys a take on the ARE CX series of camper shells and why I probably will end up selling this one to buy one of their higher end models. So let's get right into it. This is the CX series here. It retails about 1,700 uh, uh, out the door with taxes about just under 2,000. Uh, I bought this used for 1,500 and since it's hard to find used camper shells with cement gray, that's kind of why I jumped on it. So uh, these are the standard windows that come with it. It's framed in black and the back door here has aluminum trim so you can see plastic rim kind of goes over the edge there uh, one thing that I always wonder was what is the water resistance like on these shells and for the most part it's pretty good um, but you do get water in the corners here and when you open up the shell you get water down in the cracks here which could be remedied with some extra padding or you know black water tight sealer uh, or silicone I guess you could call it so one thing to note with this is that if you look at the lines of the truck it actually kind of I don't want to say sticks out but it doesn't contour the same as the Tacoma itself so it does look a little more square and then the lines back here are not as round uh, especially up top like right around there isn't as round as say the Z series so that's something to note if you are more about the aesthetics these windows uh, they are nice they let in a lot of airflow uh, but this the mesh is not removable so it's not like you can reach through the sh the window there and actually be beneficial um, so that's something to know if you think you're going to want side access, which I plan on doing in the future, uh, you're going to need something like the wind doors. Uh, the lock mechanism is just bars. Um, so it's not anything fancy like some of the higher end uh, ARE shells have, but you can get, you can actually lock it and close it from the inside, which is definitely nice if you plan on using this for camping. So one of the best features of the ARE uh, shells are their clamp designs. So it fits into the bed rails of your Tacoma if you have one and it clamps right on. Super easy to deal with, pretty quick to take off if you needed to. If you are worried about the window on your truck being clean and the shell window, definitely purchase these fold down window because it gets filthy and that's after washing it you could see just kind of how filthy it is there so another kind of gripe I guess I would have with this is just like the manufacturing imperfections like look at that so like there's they're just not like I don't know why there's washers still left on there and whether that's the company who originally you know purchased this and put it together or what it was or if it was ARE uh, just not the highest quality this clamp here to keep the window shut is just plastic and it's riveted on I don't know if it will break um, but you never know some other things you could see just like the frame is bent and I it's it's kind of concerning because like why 
you would think that it would be more flush like up here where they don't have that issue it's talking about there uh, the carpet kit in here it does a decent job of insulation it still gets warm in here and it still gets cold but uh, not bad one thing to note with a camper shell is obviously it limits the amount of room that you have to put stuff in the back of your shell uh, so i didn't think i would need a roof rack but i've already used the roof as a rack without a roof rack on it so kind of something i'm definitely considering now of putting on my next shell is a roof rack just want to share that one with you guys because it's not something i thought of really initially i was like oh i can add the roof rack later it'd be fine but i wish i had it on this one so do i like this shell uh, yeah I mean, it served its purpose uh, do I think it will meet the needs for a lot of people out there for a shell under $2,000 new? Uh, definitely you can find these used a lot more and you could even like wrap them which was a consideration but if you're looking for specialized things like the wind doors, the fold down window um, and a full like carpet kit you know rack on the top uh, it's probably better to buy it new and just save up for those than to buy one of these used and then have to add the features later because it will cost you more money in the long run um, but it you know it's kind of up to you how, how much money do you have how much money do you want to actually spend on the camper shell itself so uh, with all that being said would I buy it again definitely for a thousand five hundred bucks and to be able to sell it for a thousand five hundred um, totally worth it it's almost a brand new shell uh, but I saved four to five hundred dollars depending on how you're looking at it. So, hope this helped you guys As always have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh Yeah, do me a favor go ahead and click that subscribe button Maybe maybe tap that like button and uh, click that notification bell so you can see more of these videos and comment comments are always welcome I definitely read all of them and try and reply to all of them unless they're like, you know, so boring or you're an idiot. But even then I'll read it and I'll just shake my head and nod. Anyways, have a good day guys.